And we're live. Hi, everyone. Ooh, suddenly everybody is showing up on my screen. This is great. Let me refresh this screen so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is another Saturday, another rainy one here on the East Coast. Really rainy. And it's perfect because when it rains, all I want to do is be inside and draw, really. So, hi, everyone. Thank you for being here. Uh, those of you who attended last night um, at 8 o'clock, oh my gosh, was it fun. I really had a lot of fun trying to uh, kind of dash through this portrait in, um, in one hour, and I think uh, we were able to do it. Uh, today, our muse is Marcel, and uh, I'm really um, kind of posing a challenge here because I don't know if you've noticed, but on this particular uh, shot of Marcel, there are two sources of light on either side of his face. So the light, where the, the most light is, is going to be on the edges. And where the darker areas are, with the exception, of course, of the sides of his nose, is going to be in the middle. So it, I don't know. I, 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 we're going to approach it uh, the best way we can. And uh, I'm going to tell you right away that uh, today I'm using a fairly dark... Uh, pencil. So last night I was using, let me see if I can put my hand on it. Yeah, there it is. Last night I was using um, a Creta Color uh, monolith. So let me switch to the camera on my, uh, on my page here. This is what I was using last night. I absolutely love this pencil. It's, um, it's just a pure stick of graphite uh, with a little bit of plastic so that you don't dirty your hands. Um, and it's just smooth and uh, and grand. Today I'm going to push things uh, push things a little bit, and I'm going to be using uh, a 9B 9B by Faber Castell. So the idea is the same. This is from their Pit series. It's uh, it's a really uh, amazing material, um, and that's how we're going to draw today. At least that's how I'm going to draw. Um, I want to remind you, though, that because apparently this is Memorial Day uh, weekend, I just heard about that yesterday, I had no idea, um, we have a special discount on Sketchy, which is MD for Memorial Day. So if you use the code MD2020, you get 30% off um, two or more of my classes. How about that? So if you want to pick up uh, the current class that we are in right now, we are in week three. We just finished week three of Drawing at Home with France. Um, and if you want to pick up cross hatching or how to draw beards and so on and so forth, uh, you can do this, okay? So um, MD2020, that's the code at uh, the Sketchy Shop. All the links are below this, uh, this video today. So we have Marcel as a muse, and I'm really excited, but I'm really giving myself an extra challenge by going straight into uh, 9B. I'm not going to do a pre, you know, like a, a soft uh, outline in, let's say, uh, HB. I'm just going to go right in and see what happens, okay? So um, a pretty challenging image, again, because of where the, the light comes from. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So happy to see you, everyone. Oh, somebody from Lancaster, PA. I used to live there, David. I used to live in Lancaster for years. All right. So, um, and I used to teach in Lancaster at the Lancaster School District. All right. So, um, do you want to take a look at where his eyes are? They're not exactly, exactly like parallel to the top of the photo. They're going to be at a little bit of a slant, but not too much. So, I'm going to start with that. Okay, and uh, yes, guys, take advantage of the discounts as much as you can, okay? I might draw this standing up, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to stay seated the whole time, guys. I've been drawing standing up lately. Um, it's just a comfort thing. I absolutely love having a better view of my, of my drawing uh, by standing up. Okay, cool. So... Um, I'm going to start slowly but surely. I want to build this line here that's going to be the top of uh, Marcel's glasses and get right into it and try to get my proportions right. Did you notice there are wrinkles going this way because there's a little bit of a frown here in Marcel's expression? OK. 
Okay, then let's try not to lose track of where things are. And the top of Marcel's face could be, I mean, the head really is here. Oh, I'm going so softly right now on this pencil because I just don't want to uh, make huge marks where things are really not that dark. You know, I'm going to stand because why not? All right, rolling my chair out. I hope you guys can still see me as I draw like this. It's kind of weird, but uh, bear with me, okay? All right. Oh, Jessica, you are at your mom's in New Jersey. Yay! Did you see the weather? My gosh. But some people are at the shore today, so this is good. Okay, so if this is where the glasses end, I'm going to make it here. I'm moving extremely slowly, guys. Bear with me. I'm trying to find where these uh, these dark lines are. Oh, I'm making marks inadvertently here. I'm being extremely uh, uh, careful here. All right, let me let me make a a first mark. Okay. It's funny that I'm doing a uh, very very small details at first, but I really want to put these glasses where they belong and move on from there. I'll be happy once I, I've got that down. Seems right. Okay. A great news, right? Yes? Excellent. Oh, and Anthony, you are in Harrisburg. Awesome. This is where I first, uh, I first landed when I came to the United States in 1995. I landed in Harrisburg at the airport and then I, I went up to Penn State by bus and I started teaching there. I took a Fullington Trailways, you know, bus. Okay. Are you also uh, establishing where the glasses are? Yes, that's what I'm doing because uh, I feel a lot more secure. Um, having established that, that symmetry, because this is also part of the challenge of this drawing today, is that we have some symmetry with these classes. Did you notice that they are, um, this is a very, very much of a frontal view. And Rick is here, so I'm really happy about this because Rick told us last night that he would stop by, and, uh, and he did. How are you? We've been chatting via text message uh, on the side over the past few days, uh, Rick and I. You doing okay, Rick? Yeah? <laughs> Excellent. And by the way, you guys, absolutely, I see Jenny is telling us um, that you're going to use Procreate with the Elder Sketchman brush in dark brown. Excellent. I think you're going to come up with some really amazing results here, Jenny. Um... Although this is a pencil session, uh, feel free to use any medium that you would rather you'd rather go with, okay? All right, going extremely softly here on my on my pencil because I'm 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 doing the rimless glasses, you know, those those glasses that don't have a rim underneath. Those are tricky. But okay, hopefully we got them. All right. Uh, let me go back to, you know, using the, the white side of my, my pencil here and just make very broad marks, including for the eye. Oh, 
Oh, this is going to be dark. Dark, dark, dark. One thing about drawing glasses is that there's always a little space between, uh, you know, where you can see what's behind the, the eyeglass and the rim. That little space is just because of the the thickness of the of the lens. It's a pretty cool thing to take into consideration. All right, same thing here. Woohoo! Here it doesn't show as much. Let's see if I'm getting his eye right. Um, I was saying last night as I was drawing this uh, uh, this muse, David, who, who we were using for yesterday's session. Uh, don't hesitate to go really ugly before it gets it gets pretty. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna get that that pretty ugly, awkward stage of things. You have to sort of accept that it's gonna be that way, and then. Um, move from there but unless you're you're ready to embrace this really awkward ugly stage of the drawing you're gonna want things to be pretty right from the start it's not gonna work that way it's it's really wild that I'm using a 9b uh, lead and that I still have to put pressure because I'm using a moleskin. Oh, I don't think I even mentioned that. I'm using my good old moleskin, the one I, I draw most of my things in when I use moleskin. And um, because the paper is so smooth, you know, you have to put a lot of pressure to make things appear. I love the moleskin, but it's, it's also an extremely smooth kind of paper. Okay, we have a fairly straight line going down the nose here. Um, by the way, let me bring in the eraser because you know it might be useful in a tiny little bit. It's not the cleanest, but I love this little eraser from the store, Muji. Okay. All right, let me see where things are. It looks as though... The edge of uh, Marcel's nose is going to be here. Okay. How's everybody doing so far? You know that we have a special discount at Sketchy for Memorial Day weekend. If you use MD2020, you can grab any two of my classes or more and get uh, 30, I believe it is, 30% off. And that's pretty. A uh, pretty good deal, isn't it? Right? Okay. I I cannot quite keep up with all your comments. I hope that uh, we can chat a little bit at the end if you guys uh, stick around. I just want to make sure that I get things done, which is part of my um, you know my rationale for using something so so dark. I don't want to waste time. Okay. So. Marcel's mouth is going to be somewhere here in this general vicinity right now. Did you notice that I didn't draw the edges of uh, Marcel's face yet because they are um, the lightest things? Um, so, and yes, Jenny, I believe that the, the discount um, applies to any class, including the one that is going to, um, to come out in July, 30 Faces, 30 Days, a Procreate edition, sponsored by Procreate. Um, so yes, absolutely. Um, Robert, you have a really good question and I want to address it. 
Um, I'm only using my moleskin. I did not put what I usually do, which is use my uh, clipboard underneath. I'm not you doing this today, which is probably why I'm hitting quite a bit of softness. Um, and of course, having to use a lot more pressure. It's really interesting how that goes. Okay. I've been talking, but I haven't made a lot of marks, guys. So I'm going to start committing to some darker areas here. Okay, here and here. Try. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to remove this, otherwise you guys can't see what I'm doing. I apologize. Okay. There's so much going on in uh, in Marcel's forehead. I absolutely love where the the dark spots are. Soon, I'm gonna have to use a little um, a little paper under my hand. Uh, right now, I'm not feeling under too much pressure yet. Okay, so right now it seems maybe a little flat what I'm doing here at the top, but um, it's for a good reason. I'm just trying to cover as much as I as I can. Okay, yes. Okay, there's some eyebrow hair here that I need to deal with. So cool. All right. There's nothing happening yet in, in my drawing. There's barely, uh, you know, barely a suggestion, suggestion of eyes. Um, we're going to have some uh, facial hair happening right here. I have not even gone to the bottom of Marcel's face, which I'm going to put right about here. I could be wrong. I don't know yet. Um, However, okay, so I'm going to use my little, my little uh, sketchbook underneath my hand just to suggest the ear there in the back, right? Otherwise, everything is so faint there. I think the edge of the beard is right about there. Something like 
that and here. Ah, this is where I need my little tough stuff. See this little eraser? I use it all the time for small things. It's by Papermate. Papermate. And um, cleaning it up because last night I, I thought I was erasing and all I did was make a mark. Um, this allows me to do little things like this, you see. There we go. Okay, let's keep going. So because I'm not using any hard surface underneath my sketchbook, um, I have to apply quite a bit of pressure on my, on my pencil here. Not a problem. It's good though. But something interesting happening here on the bridge of uh, Marcel's nose is the shadow of the bridge of the glasses themselves. Oh, I love these kinds of things. See here? And it fades a little bit at the top, comes back a little darker here. It's really cool. Soon I'm going to have to deal with the eyes. I know. I'm not doing it yet. Not doing it yet. Okay. How is everybody? Okay? <laughs> I'm sitting back down again. Um, all right. So quickly, as I'm uh, reading your comments as much as I can, um, I'm using a 9B Faber-Castell Pit Graphite. Pure, pure because it's just a stick of graphite. It doesn't have wood around it. It's just graphite. And, um, all right. And it's great for this type of stuff. Yeah, it's amazing how much the fact that I'm drawing on a soft surface is affecting my ability to get very dark um, results. I mean, that's okay, but... All right, um, why don't we do the eyes, guys? Let me just clean up what I smeared, because of course I did. I think this is where I'm going to put this. Here as well. Something like that, right? And here we have a reflection of it on the skin. It's pretty cool. All right, let me see if I can get this right.
Here again, going dark. Cause why not? I. Remember, you can pick up any two of my classes at Sketchy, Sketchy Shop if you use the Memorial Day uh, weekend discount. Which is MD2020. Wow, this is really dark here. Look at this. I'm realizing that I can really add in the in the darkness. This is goes even further. Something like that. All of this. Everything is kind of dark here in the corner of uh, Marcel's eye, you notice? Okay. Yeah, that little piece of paper is my savior. And because I'm using um, the 9B, which just begs to go very dark, gives me the flexibility when I go extremely lightly with it to make just the tiniest little marks but that still show like you see the little wrinkles here stay subtle with them you know they're there Marcel I hope you are here Okay, how about that hair at the top, right there? <laughs> okay, so we're at about... Uh a half hour and uh, Robert, I think you're 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 pointing this out pretty uh, pretty accurately. The way the way I'm drawing right now, which is making some very um, blurry marks, and then slowly letting the the drawing emerge from that by coming back and adding more details. It's kind of like uh, emerging out of the mist. It's pretty accurate. That's how I feel about it too. Okay, so there's hair here. So how am I gonna show hair? I'm just gonna go like this, not uh, not too much, just a little to show that there's some hair. At least that's how I interpret this uh, this image.
Kathleen, the uh, the model is Marcel. Marcel. Marcel, you are in Belgium, I believe. I think it's Bruges, but I could be wrong. I lived in Belgium for a while too. I lived in Brussels, in the Quartier Européen for a while. But I went to Bruges and I loved it. But I was so busy working when I was living in, um, in Belgium that I hardly drew that year, I remember that. I remember wanting to draw more and just not making the time. It was a crazy year. Okay. All right, again, staying extremely faint here because I don't want to suggest uh, more than that. I just want to build a little bit of relief in Marcel's forehead. You know by now that I'm not a fan of uh, stressing wrinkles, but we have a beautiful forehead here to, uh, to deal with and I don't want to miss out on that. Oh, Marcel, you are in the Netherlands. I apologize. I don't know why I put you in uh, in Flanders. And we can't call the Netherlands Holland anymore. It's over. See how I'm just revisiting and adding more uh, darkness to the to the forehead, hoping, of course, that I didn't make it too gigantic. Hope not. Adding a few details. My MacBook is starting to make uh, noises that I'm not a, a huge fan of. It happens every time we are doing something live like this, it threatens to take off. It just turned five years old the other day. And it's letting me know. <laughs> oh boy. How are we doing, everybody? Those of you drawing in pencil, did you opt to go with a, a dark pencil? Um, like a 9B, like what I'm holding? Also, you've noticed that we have a, a code for saving 30% on any two of my classes. If you want to join us, for this Memorial Day, um, 
weekend, we have a great promo at, at Skillshare. 30% off for two classes. I'm having way too much fun in this forehead, guys. You've probably noticed, right? <laughs> I'm just slowly building the the volume in his, um, you know, in his head, and it's just way too meditative. Okay. By the way, Marcel, thank you for this uh, annoyed face that you gave us today, that you let me use. I love drawing a good, annoyed expression. Those are the best. Like what? Hmm? Look at, there's a gorgeous line here coming from um, the arm of Marcel's eyeglasses. And just kind of, you know, coming into the... Love this kind of thing that I didn't even notice at first. Okay, however, the side of uh, Marcel's face here, head, is barely existent. So I'm barely acknowledging it, but I'm in 9B, so I have to sort of, you know, suggest something. Okay. Yep, I'm not a fan of this line here. It doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Keep it at that. So you know that we're doing a 30 faces, 30 days in uh, in July, and I'm going to be part of it. The special thing about that is that it's uh, sponsored by Procreate, and therefore we're going to be drawing on Procreate. Not to force anybody on the on the iPad at all, because you can definitely enjoy that class and do everything you know on a different medium. Absolutely. Yeah, it's going to be basically um, six of us having fun on the on the iPad. I'm loving how dark it is here. Look at that. We can barely see uh, Marcel's eye, right? Uh, Naomi, I'm going to address your, your question. Did I always start by, uh, without mapping it out in some way? Um, this is my way of mapping it out. I think I, I definitely mapped it out more than I, than I used to. I used to start and get lost in the details very quickly. And uh, I, just, I just learned that this was pretty unproductive and that I needed to make an effort to to sort of lay things out like this, you know, 
but I don't do grids or anything like that. Okay. Marcel, I don't know if you recognize yourself. Uh, it's funny to draw somebody that you've never met, right? You just sort of trust the uh, the photo and think, okay, I, I hope this is really, this is his essence, you know? All right. And... Look, the rest of what's underneath here is going to be fairly dark too. So let me just make sure that I'm drawing. Oh my gosh, I have not even addressed the nose yet, but I will. Okay. It's pretty dark in this corner here. I don't know if I'm very happy about this yet, but maybe I can work on the details. So, as I was explaining at the very beginning of this session, uh, we're dealing with a photo here that has a lot of concentration of dark here in the center. We're so used to portraits that are lit from, you know, one side or another. And this one um, is clearly giving us the challenge of having lighting on either side. Yeah. And Jessica, I couldn't agree more. This is why I actually uh, had such a hard time drawing my my own mom for so many years. She would always ask me, uh, you know, can you draw me? And I'd be like, yeah. And I couldn't. <laughs> I really, um, I don't know. Maybe it's emotional. <clears throat> Psychological. pretty wild, right, to be able to render volume uh, just like that. 
Okay. Matt, excellent question. I want to address this. Could I achieve this look in Procreate? You know, um, I would say yes, definitely. And I think Procreate uh, would also allow me to take uh, some nice shortcuts, especially like here, you see where I want to add a little bit of, of light. I could do this easily in Procreate. So my answer is yes, but I think there's only one way to find out and is by me trying to do it. I think I'd like to um, to revisit this portrait of Marcel in Procreate. Um, I might have to do that over the weekend. I will be very tempted to want to do that. So, Matt, I guess you can, you know, visit at uh, Sketchy Art School, you know, in my group uh, uh, Drawing with France and see what we've managed in Procreate. I know Jenny is drawing it in Procreate right now, right, Jenny? Um, I certainly think that, yes, this in Procreate could be, could be a lot of fun. Different, I actually wonder what kind of brush I, I will go with, but um, my gosh, it would be a blast. Okay. Okay, it's amazing how little um, I conveyed here in the on the sides of Marcel's face. I just totally ignored that and focused only on you know what's right here in front of us, and let the rest just fade out into the distance. I don't know. I really don't know if it's gonna have a a good effect at the end, but we'll see, okay? Right now I have the bottom of the face to deal with, right? Because I haven't done any of that yet. Is everybody feeling good about this uh, this photo? I hope so. Okay. Oh well, Marcel, I didn't know that you you just watched the the live, and then you watch them again and draw along. That's I understand that because sometimes the pressure of of drawing live can be a little little daunting. I think Beatrice was alluding to this a minute ago. And uh, I can I can understand that. Maybe there's there's a certain pressure about uh, doing it live that you can relieve yourself from by just doing it again at home. I get that totally. Okay, guys, I think there's a hint. Of Walter White in my uh, in my Marcel today, don't you think? I'm just suddenly slowly waking up to that reality here. Not my intention, okay? Maybe I'm. Uh... Kind of revealing. My admiration for Brian Cranston. Okay, this could break him up.
Yeah, okay, so I'm not the only one. I, I am also getting some strong uh, Walter White vibes. Hope it's okay, Marcelo. Maybe that's how much pop culture distorts our view of things, you know. It's funny how that is. This is still extremely um, fuzzy here in the beard area. Let's see how much time. Ten more minutes. Let's see. Francis, what is your question? Will you say something about paper, meaning the paper I'm using that I'm drawing on? Yes, absolutely. I'm drawing on um, in a moleskin right now. This is my moleskin sketchbook. If that was your question, I hope that's what you meant. So the paper is extremely smooth. Okay, I'm going to suggest that there is a beard by slowly, gradually bringing in some lines that suggest facial hair. And here as well. No tooth whatsoever, you're absolutely right. Um, yeah, so Teresa, you're asking about the clothes, right? Um, for me, they really, I have no interest in conveying clothes other than just by hardly suggesting that, you know, like for instance, here, This is where part of, uh, I think in this photo, Marcel is wearing a hoodie, right? And this is great for showing where the beard ends. So when I bring that in, it's going to, to be here just as an excuse to, to have the beard show against it. So in that respect, it's fairly crucial to draw some clothes. Um, I'm noticing that the album I've, I've been listening to is playing for the second time. It's that quick. Okay. And yes, the pencil is uh, a 9B Faber-Castell. Can you see? Ooh, it's, a, it's getting a little dark in here. 
9b, Faber-Castell graphite, uh, pit graphite, and so on. Okay, other side now, just bringing in the edge of the beard. So you see I'm kind of doing this in um, negative space. Can go a little darker here. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm being very um, uh, sketchy for the bottom here. Um, oh, Chris, you're asking me whether I plan differently when I when I uh, use digital or uh, regular paper. Um, I'm sure I do. You know, when you have when you have that amazing safety net of being able to add as much eraser. As you do uh, pencil, which is the case in you know in digital, then yeah, I think it does affect your. I think the speed at which you you plan and draw. So, for instance, um, you know all the stuff that I had to leave out um, in digital, I can just add with with the eraser tool, you know, and so it does affect the way. Um, Maybe not the way I plan, but the way I, I proceed with the plan, you know. I just go a lot more boldly in, uh, in digital and just, you know, I just smeared it. Whereas even though I have an eraser here, um, I don't have the same amount of freedom. As I do in Procreate for sure. How's everybody doing? What is this? If I have enough subscribers, I can start making money. What is this about? EX flaps. Like, can you explain what what you're what you're bringing to the discussion here? Go ahead. Tell us what you're bringing to the discussion. How does that relate to us uh, drawing? I'd like to know. Okay, I'm not done. I'm I'm gonna keep going for another I think uh, another five minutes. Yes, I hope you're okay with that.
So now I'm outside of the beard. You see what I'm doing here is outside of the beard. So let me, let me move up, okay, so that you can see it. And this is uh, basically on the clothes of uh, Marcelli, you know? Again, only suggesting uh, the shape of the beard. Against the darker background here, you see. And it's darker here at the bottom, you know, because there's no light there. And now really darkening what's underneath okay I'm really going like um, full bore <laughs> on the <laughs> the pressure so that I can achieve some darkness you know do I have drawings oh yeah yeah I have a bunch of drawings be uh, behind this I thought that should be interesting but I put papers between each of my my drawings so it shouldn't affect them too badly. <clears throat> okay. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Marcel, yeah, you think so? Okay, I'm going to put up your uh, your comment. But Marcel, I would like you to tell us why you feel this way about this particular um, this particular live drawing. I have to say, I'm I'm really happy about um, how I've captured you. And again, this is not so much in likeness than in expression and so forth. But I'd like to know why you. Um, you think this is one of the best lives? I'd like I'd like to hear your opinion. Okay, please. <clears throat> uh, do I ever sell my art? Yes, I do commissions when I have <clears throat> when I have the time. I've done so many over the years, and I have sold uh, some drawings that people have approached me and said, "Look, I, I want to buy this one because I love it." and and I've done that. And uh, it's always a pleasure because it's something that I've drawn and, you know, that I really took a lot of pleasure drawing. And, and it's also a pleasure to well, to sell it, I'll be honest, you know. It's, it's great. I'm glad that someone can like something to the point that they're willing to, you know, to pay me for, to get the ownership of it. It's pretty cool. Guys, I'm reaching uh, the uh, final stages now of uh, my portrait of Marcel. <coughs> so let's see. So Diane, you agree with Marcel? Okay. I'm staying very, very sketchy here at the bottom. I pushed my drawing so that you could see. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to walk away very soon now because I think I, I, I did what I wanted to do with this portrait. What do you think, guys? Yes? <clears throat> Sorry. 
I'm not a smoker. Not at all. And yet I manage to cough during these things. Okay. All right. I am going to put down my pencil or otherwise I'm just going to keep at it and I will just want to monkey with every little, you know, little bit. And at some point I need to stop. So I'm going to sign like right about here. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so it's a little bit at a slant like this, right? Do you agree? Um, I think I could have gone even a little darker here at the at the top of um, Marcel's head, down into the the forehead area, and maybe I'll do that a little. Again, this is all about building those layers and and finding out. Oh my gosh, I could have, you know. I could have gone darker here, I could have gone darker there. It's so wild. Okay, um, what do you think? Yes, oh, thank you for your comments, that's great. <laughs> thank you. So, um, K.A. Foster, I would like to, to guide you to the sketchy shop I, I teach a whole class just on wrinkles. It, it's uh, it's pretty intense. We go deep into the wrinkles. Um, if you look at the link underneath, by the way, you can get 30% uh, off this this uh, Memorial Day weekend, any two of my classes with the code MD2020. Okay, so guys, thank you for being here. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say goodbye, right? Yay. <laughs> thank you, Anne. Anne, in French, no less. Well, thank you. Merci bien. Merci bien. Awesome. <clears throat> okay, so why don't we all head over to uh, Sketchy Art School. We're going to go to the group called uh, Drawing with France, and we're going to post what we drew. I'm going to take a photo, and I'm going to post it within the next few minutes, okay? So it's uh, 109 or something like that, 108. Yes, 108, my watch says. Uh, thank you for spending this hour with me, drawing along. Um, I can't wait to see what you've done. Let's post and let's meet again very soon. I think next week. Uh, yeah, next week is our next, uh, our next drawing together, I believe, if, I, if I'm getting my dates right. All right, everyone, have a good week and stay safe. And I'll see you again for another drawing session at the end of uh, May, which will be uh, the last week of Drawing at Home with France. Ciao, everyone. Thank you for being here. Bye.